Ida McKinley was the wife of President William McKinley and served as the First Lady of the United States from 1897 to 1901. She was born on June 8, 1847, in Canton, Ohio, and grew up in a prominent family. As First Lady, Ida was known for her devotion to her husband and her quiet nature. She suffered from epilepsy and often experienced seizures in public, which led her to become more withdrawn from public life. Despite her health challenges, Ida was actively involved in various charitable causes, including working with the Red Cross and supporting the education of young women. She also helped to fundraise for the construction of a new building for the National Cathedral in Washington, D.C. After her husband was assassinated in 1901, Ida's health declined rapidly, and she became increasingly reclusive. She died on May 26, 1907, at the age of 60. Ida McKinley's legacy as First Lady is one of resilience and dedication to charitable causes, despite her personal struggles with health. She will always be remembered as a devoted wife to President McKinley and a champion of education and charitable causes.